This is very consequential. Uh, yes, it is very consequential. And just, you know, just to understand how this uh, assassination happened, according to the Iranian media, there are, you know, new details that are being published. Um, um, some sort of aircraft fired a missile into Hania's uh, bedroom through the window uh, and killed him. Uh, you really need to have very good intelligence and very good operational uh, capabilities to, um, you know, conduct such an operation. Um, this is when you add that to the uh, assassination of Hezbollah's um, top military leader in Beirut and to an airstrike conducted by the U.S. military in Iraq against pro-Iranian militias, this is a very bad day for the pro-Iranian access in the region. Uh, and usually when Iran gets hit like that, there is a retaliation. Sometimes it's immediate, but sometimes it takes time. And I think that the Iranians are now starting to work on how are they going to respond both directly and through their proxies in the region for that wave or for that series of hits that they just got in the last 24 hours. And another interesting point, uh, the White House top Middle East uh, uh, official, Brett McGurk, is now in the region. He had talks yesterday in Saudi Arabia, headed a delegation of all the top Middle East uh, officials in the Biden administration. They were in Saudi Arabia to talk about the situation in Yemen and the Houthis. He's going to Egypt uh, later today, and he's there while the whole region is getting more and more and more tense. And I think it will be very interesting to see whether McGurk changes his plans and goes to Israel and to other countries in the region from Egypt, maybe to Doha in Qatar, maybe to other places. But his visit in the region is in a very uh, interesting timing. Barack, if, is his presence in the region, does it make his safety more precarious at this juncture? Um, yeah, again, I, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, he's taking all the um, needed security measures, but I think it's just, um, you know, it will be very, very interesting to see um, how the region is going to react to this series of events uh, that are very, very dramatic. Uh, 